I want to show you a very quick video on how to add custom fonts, so purchase fonts, into your Show It website. So first things first, go ahead and head to Design Settings. There's two tabs. Click Fonts. Down here, click on the Font Squirrel link. So this is going to generate the right file for you. So once you've purchased the font, it's usually in like a .otf, um, .ttf file. You actually want it to be a .woff. So if you already have that file, sometimes fonts include it, you can skip this one step. Okay, so let's just choose this font here because I have a license for that one. Choose yes, and then hit download your kit. So now it's turning it into and generating it into a .woff. WOFF font file. So once that's done, it'll create a zip file that you can unzip and we'll then move it on over. All right, so it's unzipping there. Got two of them there. All right, so here's the file you'll see the WOFF. And what you want to do now is just X out and go to Media Library and just drag that right into your Media Library. So now it's gonna be hosted on your Show It site. So once that's done, head right back to the design settings. Under the fonts tab, there's this little drop down, and it'll be right at the top there. So then you just gotta type in the name, hit add custom font, and now it's gonna be in your font styles. So once that's done, you can definitely choose to change up the site style. So if it's the heading, like so, hit save. So then anything that used that, you'll see it changed the font for anything that used that heading. If you wanted to do maybe the big one, which could be kind of fun. Hit save. And now you'll see how it changes throughout the site, which is pretty cool and super easy.